You're listening to the Quince podcast. The national capital has been seething with protests against the Citizenship Act since December with no signs of quieting down and with that in the background Delhi is heading towards the state assembly polls on February 8th. Now BJP has shown a clear stance in support of the citizenship law. Congress has been vocally against it. But where does AAP stand exactly? Delhi is not really a proper state but the 70 seat assembly is expected to reflect the mood of the nation. So how much will these protests impact on how Delhi votes and will the votes be cast depending on each of the party's stance on the CAA and the NRC? You're listening to the Big Story the podcast where we dissect the headline making news for you and I'm sure Bri if you like listening to the Big Story please subscribe to our playlists on Apple Google Podcast Jio Sav and Spotify and all the other platforms that we live on right now you can find all the links to our playlist on our show notes Now this is the first proper election after both houses of the parliament passed the controversial act and amid talks of a pan Indian NRC as well So uh, before this Jharkhand did technically vote after the new law was put in place but that was only in the last phase of the election since that election a lot has passed in the national capital alone some really questionable cases of both police brutality and police inaction we've seen both of it on two central universities in Delhi first in Jamia and then again in JNU and simultaneously there's also an ongoing 24 hour indefinite non-violent resistance in Shaheen Bagh and a uh, landmark areas like india gate red fort jantar mantar occasionally turning into battle grounds with unexplained imposition of section 144 and of course followed by several detentions although the police come under the central government the current turmoil does raise questions on what the aap government has done and what could have been done it does raise questions on how exactly the citizens will vote in the upcoming elections and to answer just that and help us decode delhi elections i have with me the quince political editor aditya menon is also overlooking all the coverage from delhi elections so no better person to join me in this podcast so aditya first question would be are the congress and the aam aadmi party essentially fighting for the anti bjp votes hi shorbri yes i think congress and aam aadmi party are fighting for anti bjp votes uh, but one must also remember that uh, the anti bjp votes are much smaller than the pro bjp votes uh, so you know so probably aam aadmi party has taken a bit of a calculation that since they are the primary anti bjp party the anti bjp votes would naturally go to them and not to the congress uh, even though their stand on the ca has been slightly softer than that of the congress so um since we're also talking about the anti bjp votes some of the protests that are happening currently in the capital against the center's decision have been in primarily muslim dominated areas like shaheen bagh and there's been jama masjid where chandrashekhar azad was arrested from um there's also jafarabad and silampur except um when it came to talking against the nrc and the ca the aam aadmi party and the congress have uh, had completely different stances um the congress has been pre vocal but aam aadmi party has kept it quite mellow at the same time aam aadmi party mla amanatullah khan has been quite vocal and present at the protests but then again if you look at aap as a party and kejriwal as the head he's really maintained a sort of a distance so why two questions why is aap keeping a low profile in this matter and will the muslim vote get divided want to hear the rest of this podcast check out the link to the full episode in the description below and follow the quint on apple podcast google podcast spotify geo savan and all other platforms we are on 